What's up, everybody? Thank you for tuning in to Regina Young and the Side Boys Resource Center. So, you gotta excuse me, I've been exercising, so I am um, just coming back. I got all my exercise stuff, and I wanted to talk to y'all today about black lives. So, I had did a post where um, a couple of people had asked me some questions about black lives, and when I thought about it, I'm assuming that people didn't realize if you check my pictures, that they would realize that I was black. And they were just like, you're not protesting. I said, no. They said, why not? I said, I'm protesting, but at a distance because there's coronavirus out here. And even though it seems like, unfortunately, when the um, incident happened, everybody forgot about coronavirus. But I have three special need kids and I can't afford for any of them to get sick because of my ne my negative issues. So the question was, what do you think about the protests? I love it. However, I feel like there are some things that could be different. There are some things they shouldn't have done. There are some things people shouldn't do. And I'm not just saying blacks because there are white people protesting as well. So they're both black and white people protesting. But like in Delaware, where I live at, they broke windows. They were robbing people. They were beating up people, um, burning buildings and different areas. That's not protesting. Standing in the middle of the road, blocking the road, um, that's not protesting. Whenever you protest, you do it respectfully and you do it safely without putting other people at risk. So many people know my son had heart surgery. So we were riding, we were going to Wild Wilds because he really, really wanted a huggy sub. So I said, okay, baby, let's go get it. My niece was with me. She was like, um... I'll ride with you we went up there. We got stuck in the middle, and this is because I didn't know anything about the protests. And people were running all around the cars. The things that I seen was people were actually trying to hurt the protesters. They were trying to knock them on the ground. They were trying to hit them with their car. They opened up the door so they were fling to the floor. And it was a guy out there. He was Caucasian. He said to me, he said, I'm doing this for you, Mom. I'm doing this for you. And I said to him, I said, that's beautiful. Thank you. I appreciate it. But at the same time, you have to make sure that you're safe. When you say black lives matter, yes, they do. Black people have struggled for so long fighting to do better, to get better, to become successful. But at the same time, it's just like every other race. You have good and bad in every race. Black, white, Puerto Rican, Chinese, Asian, African, Jamaican, whatever they are. You have good people and you have bad people. However, there's more stuff being swept underneath the rug when it comes to black people. For example, I live in Delaware. I was going to my son's school because there was an incident. And I wanted to figure out what was going on with my son. Automatically, because I was black, the lady in the office that was Caucasian, had called for the police officer to come. He comes over. He didn't know what had happened, didn't know what was going on, didn't know anything. My son was in the room with me. He started yelling and screaming at me like I was nobody, like I was trash. I said, hold up. I said, I'm going to stop you right here. I said, I don't care who's in this room, and I don't care who you are. You have a badge. I said, you're in the community, I'm in the community. I respect you, you're going to respect me. I said, that badge means nothing to me. You're not going to intimidate me and make me feel like I'm beneath you. So, yes, I have been in situations where I interact with police officers and I had to check them and let them know you took a oath, you took a, a class, a course, something to graduate to get where you are. And that means that you promised to protect, to serve, and to uphold the law. A lot of them were not doing that. However, when you're out here protesting and you're spitting on the cops, yelling at the cops, cussing them out, calling them all kind of names, you don't know each police officer. Not every police officer is bad. There are good and there are bad. Just like there are good doctors, there are bad doctors. There are good teachers, there are bad uh, teachers. There's good and bad in everything we do. We have to treat people like we would want to be treated. So you ask, well, Regina, what's a protest that you would do? 
If I was going to protest about something, first of all, I'm not blocking the roads. I'm not going to put nobody's life in danger. Putting people out there, stopping people from getting to the hospital, medical treatment, whatever they're going, it's illegal. You can't do it. Walking on the sidewalk, like I see where they talk about don't do abortions, it's a peaceful protest. Be on the sidewalks. Hold your sign up. You can chat, I can't breathe. That's fine. But you can't cuss people out. That's where it becomes harassment. You change the level as you go out and you act inappropriate. Well, they call us animals. An animal is something that you can tame or train. I hear people say, well, I trained this person to do this. I trained that person. No, you didn't train them. You might taught them how to do it or show them how to do it. But at the end, they have to be willing to do it. You're not being tamed. You're not an animal. Nobody is an animal. Oh, well, humans are animals. Well, they call us mammals because we have hair. But would you want to be called an animal? No. So don't call nobody else an animal. A lot of people throw the N-word out there. I had a lady tell me that today. She said to me, she was like, you ends can get in the back of the line and wait your turn. I said to her, I said, the word that you use is an ignorant person, lack of knowledge. I said, so you could be that same word that you're calling all of us. One thing that I learned, if you're going to use a word, learn it. A lot of people throw these words out here. But black people, if you are a male and you're not taking care of your child, but you're standing out here voting, yelling black lives matter, you have to start at home. You have to start at home. Take care of your own home. Don't go around here degrading and down black women because you don't date them and you date another race. Because you came from a black woman. So a lot of times you got to watch what you do yourself being black. I love being black. I love my skin. It's a color that God blessed me to have. And I treat everybody, no matter what color they are, equally and the same. I love who I am. I love what I do. I love to help people. But I know right from wrong. So whenever I feel like um, something's wrong, I do voice my opinion. And I do speak up about it. But I'm not going to hit people. I'm not going to blow up stuff. I'm not going to steal and rob stores. Because then I give them the opportunity to say, oh, yeah, this is why we call them animals. This is why we call them this. This is why we call them that. I'm not going to give you the opportunity to downgrade me or mislabel me. I'm classy. I'm going to proceed and do things in the right way. Guys, you need to vote. Vote for senators. Vote for Democrats, Republicans, wherever you are, you need to vote. A lot of us say, oh, well, it starts with President Trump. No. A lot of stuff does not start with the president. It starts at home. Vote. You have a voice. You're able to vote. Go vote. How can you get mad if you're not voting? Black people, we definitely need to vote. When Obama was in, that was the most black people to ever vote, I believe they said. You need to vote. Support yourself. Start your own business. Start Going back to school, educating yourself. Do whatever it is that you want. There's nothing that one race has that you can't have. You are born to be a queen and a queen, a king. Stand up. Take your crown. Accept your place. Go for it. I'm not saying to look the other way because they, the cops are doing people wrong. That's not what I'm saying. You have a right to be mad. Black people have been mistreated and abused for years. But think about the people like Anna Frank and all them. So were they. There's a lot of cultures and backgrounds and races that are mistreated. But if I bleed and you bleed, what color is the blood? It's red. That's what people are not looking at. We're all equal. We're all the same. The only difference between the two of us is you might be a girl and I might be a boy. That would be the only difference. But we're all the same. Love, respect, and treat each other right. I do want to hear what you think about it. I do want to know what you think and how you think we can do better. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat.
I look forward to hearing from you. Subscribe.